Today, we're going to open the Geek Gear World of Wizardry monthly subscription box for January 2019. Okay, so for those of you who haven't done unboxings with me before on here, this is a monthly subscription box, like I said, and these, um, you're able to pick which house you belong to. So any house-related items that are in here will be Ravenclaw. So um, they ended our recipes that we were receiving, so they said they're going to start some new traditions. And I did get an email, um, I believe it was yesterday, stating that they're going to go back to more homemade products and just personalize little touches in their February box. So they said to just be patient if, um, you know, if we weren't completely happy with some of the boxes at the end of last year. So, um, so that's super exciting. And I know we've already gotten a couple box hints for that one, and I'll get into those later in the video. So let's see. Okay, oh, we got like a little letter from them. It's got a little sticker wax seal that's super cute. Okay. And it says, oh, perfect. Okay, our boxes are changing for the better. We apologize if people felt like we have lacked in our personalized and handcrafted charm the way we started back in 2016. From our February box onwards, we are changing our boxes, our packaging, and our content. Expect only the highest quality products and unique and cute packaging. Expect handcrafted original artworks and so much more. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber from your Geek Gear team. So that's really cool. So yeah, like I said, um, they said they've got some um, changes on the uh, horizon and that they're going to kind of go back to some of the ways they were back when the box originally started. So that's super exciting. Um some of the first boxes that we received were just awesome. So I'm very excited for them to um, to go into that direction. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, and I have blue tissue paper because I am a Ravenclaw. And we always receive some kind of shirt in these boxes. Ooh. And this month's is really cool. So we've got Hogwarts, and it's printed in a gold color. Um, I really like this. It's a nice, simple outline. I love that it has the Quidditch pitch on there and the Black Lake. Yeah, I really like this. It's very simple, clean. We actually haven't gotten any white t-shirts from them. I don't know if we've ever gotten a white t-shirt. Most of them are gray or purple or black or blue, some other color. But um, yeah, this might be the first white one we've actually gotten from them, at least in the regular box. I know sometimes they do some white ones in the wearables. But um, yeah, I like this. It's super simple, but I, I like this a lot. And their shirts are very soft. They wash up well. I really like them. All right. Let's see what else we've got in here. Hmm. Okay. So right off the bat, I see that we have a Christmassy looking pin, which is super cute, but I'm kind of confused as to why it's in this box. So maybe they'll explain it more in the pamphlet, but let's just get it out because it is really cute. Um, so it's Hedwig with a little... Santa hat and scarf so that is super cute for those of you who saw my Hogwarts Christmas tree I will likely make this an ornament because I don't tend to wear some of these bigger pins but I am very happy to make them ornaments to put on the tree so yeah it's late but that's okay it's super cute I like that all right Ooh, okay so we got something else in a nice little package here and let's see Oh, it's heavy. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Okay. So it looks like we got a chocolate frog necklace. And I don't know if you can tell from my hand, but this thing is huge. It's really big, like almost like Flavor Flav big. So... Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. I love the actual design, and it is really heavy. Like, it's well-made. I don't think I'll ever wear this as a necklace. Again, this may be something that I either hang up on um, the wall or on a cork board, or I may make this a Christmas ornament because it is super cute. But, yeah, I don't think I'll ever wear this as a necklace. But I do like it. All right. Oh, let's see what this is. Ooh, a wizardry cushion cover. So we've gotten a couple of these in the past, and they are nice little cushion covers, and they fit a pretty standard pillow form. This one is interesting. Okay, so this is similar to the shirt we got in, I think, last month's box. 
where it's just kind of a kaleidoscopy design and um yeah it's just got little elements of wizardry in it so it's got like you know the house emblems here and it's got the lightning bolt and keys yeah it's different I like that um it's kind of nice that it doesn't scream Harry Potter but yeah it's different definitely different so I do like their pillowcases I think that they are a nice um, quality but yeah not my favorite but it's not bad Let's see what else we've got. Ooh, what is this? Love Potion Tea. Hmm. So it's one teaspoon per cup, 100 degrees Celsius, brew five to 10 minutes. And its ingredients are hibiscus, apple pieces, rose hips, rose hip shells, citrus peel, flavoring, and raspberry pieces. Huh. It's decaf, mixed red berry infusion, love potion tea. Okay, so that's really different. So I know that the um, Gobstone Alley box has had the, um, I think it's Cozy Elf tea for quite some time. And it is a loose leaf tea as well, which is what this seems like it is. So you do have to um, brew that a little differently. I think you actually have to have one of the little tea infusers, which I don't have because I'm more of a coffee person. But... Well, let's see. I don't mind tea. It's just not my go-to. I'm, I'm definitely more of a coffee or hot chocolate girl. Okay, so it's very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see in there. Let me smell it. Ooh, it smells really good. Very strong hibiscus and um, orange notes. Like, it definitely, there's a citrusy vibe, but you can definitely smell the hibiscus in there. I'm sure this will make a very pretty tea. Yeah, okay. Something different. My sister drinks a lot of tea. Maybe I'll end up giving this to her. I mean, it's very cute packaging. It smells really good. So, yeah, I'll have to try that. Okay. Oh, we got a little box here. Snowy Owl. It's not very heavy, so I'm thinking maybe it's stuffed. Oh, it's a little feathery owl. So I have lots of different realistic looking owls in my Harry Potter room, which I promise is coming soon. Um, oh, this is super cute. So this is a little tiny version of some of those. Oh, he's super cute. Okay, so we've got a little snowy owl, and um, it's real feathers, and they have the little plasticky eyes that look realistic, and then the um, harder feet. So, yeah, he's a really cute little pocket owl. I like him. He's fun. Okay. And, oh, we've got our pamphlet, which we'll get to in just a second. And we always get some kind of art in here, and I think I can already see what it is, and I'm super excited. So... It's a Deathly Hallows piece. Get out of the box, please. All right. Oh, super cute. So this is the three brothers, and it has the Deathly Hallows with power, longing, and humility. And I love that it has the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Super cute. So they're saying that this is a Geek Gear licensed exclusive. Maybe the coloring is what's exclusive because I actually have a bigger version of this um, in kind of a brown and sepia tone. So, I, I mean, it's definitely a print I have already, but I love this size and I love that it's black and white because this will match my um, Harry Potter room better. And I love the Deathly Hallows. Yeah, uh, that's super cute print. Okay, let's get into the pamphlet. Okay, so we had the exclusive wizardry necklace, and that's obviously the chocolate frog, and they're saying that that is $9.99. And then we have the exclusive owl plush for $7.99. The exclusive love potion tea, and this says, this month starts the beginning of our own tea selection. Each month we'll be giving our subscribers different wizardry-inspired pouches of loose leaf tea. This month is a mixed berry-infused love potion tea, which is sweet and fruity with a deep red color. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to start getting into tea because I'm going to be getting a pouch of it. And for those of you that get Gobstone Alley, that's a lot of tea. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm okay with that. I, I did like the um, recipes, and I kind of wish that they maybe would have gone a different route and done done a coffee or done um, a hot chocolate or something like that. But um, yeah. Okay, so next month's box hint, this is one that I actually got sent to me in my email, is the mermaids. So it looks like maybe it's a nod to the Triwizard Tournament and the Black Lake when Harry was competing. So that'll be interesting to see what they send us with that. The other hints that they gave us is that um, we're getting another wand from their noble wands um, service that they are doing a subscription for. And I believe they said there might be something... I believe they said something Severus Snape is going to be in there. So I'm excited to see what they do in this February box. Um, As you can see, the packaging is already a little different. We didn't get our cool, like, rip-off tab. So that's kind of disappointing. But at the same time, um, I'm excited to see what they roll out in February. Then we had the exclusive Wizardry Cushion cover, which was $11.99. The exclusive Harry Potter Deathly Hallows print for $4.99. And the exclusive Festive Owl pin. Okay, so it says... We are delighted to bring you this adorable wintry pin. This cute little tribute to the beautiful snowy owl is kitted out with a festive hat and red scarf to keep him cozy for the winter season. Sadly, this little owl was meant to be in our November subscription box, which was replaced with another item due to a late arrival. So we decided instead of wasting this cute snowy owl to give it to our loyal subscribers as an added extra. So that's really cool. Okay, so that makes sense. We were supposed to get this in the festive box from November and... They put it in this month's box instead because it arrived late. So, okay, that's cool. It's a super, super cute pin. I just wasn't sure why we got something Christmassy looking. Um, And then we have the exclusive t-shirt, which I love, and that is $11.99. So, yeah, I think this was a good little box. Again, I will never wear this as a necklace. It's way too big. But I will definitely hang it up um, or make it a Christmas ornament. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what the next several months hold for Geek Gear. The fact that they acknowledge that some of their boxes have had some eh moments to them and they're trying to resolve it I think is huge so I'm super excited to see what we get coming forward so yeah that's going to be it if you guys like this video hit the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed please do so and we will catch you guys later thanks so much